10 a.m. over here in Mapua. We made a connection with Clayton Hops. And we're gonna take the one hour drive outside the city to go check it out. We are at uh, Battery Hill Hop Farm and Blue Rock Hop Farm, uh, about an hour outside of Ruby Bay where we, where we stayed last night. Hopefully you enjoyed the sights and sounds of the journey over here. It just about cost us a drone. We pushed it pretty hard to get some nice visuals for you. Yeah, well, once again, we're gonna head into the picking plant, show you guys around once again. Uh, every, op every operation has slight differences, slight, uh, I guess, unique character to them, and we're just gonna take a look around and draw some more inspiration and get to know the folks that grow, grow the hops here. These are awesome. These are killer, right? These are straight up. Nelson. To admit that we kind of just crashed the party here at Battery Hill. Uh, it's been nice to be shown around and you know they're late in the harvest here. A lot of what they harvest has already been brought in but we're fortunate to be up on this ridiculously scenic vista. Uh, in all of my years of visiting hop farms I've never quite seen anything like this and it seems the world and the earth grants that grandeur with Nelson that are extremely beautiful and expressive so in terms of wanting to honor a beautiful space with our efforts. This is kind of top of the crop. This is a beautiful setting. This Nelson that's on the vine is really, really, really nice. Bright, vibrant, tropical fruit, citrus, passion fruit, and all that. And it's clearly uh, an indication of the efforts by, by the farmers here at Battery Hill and the, the place in which these hops are grown. We just yeah. had uh, the local brewers, uh, Sawmill mm. Behemoth, um, Good oh, yeah. George, uh, another one just came through. Um, they target this at the end of the harvest. So they want a slight savory note, which doesn't come through the beer when they brew it, and they get more of a great um, winey taste to it. Okay, late harvest you said? Late a harvest. later harvest, yeah. yeah. So at the, at the end, so say this is going for 10 days, they'll be sitting, they'll want to be a, sort of eight to 10 days old. They'll take the older stuff. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. Um, if you talk to them about Machuica, it's the opposite. They want to go with the early, early. early side of it. They get more of a limey, zesty yeah. um, flavor out of it. And what comes out later on it to those guys? Uh, limey, zesty. It's more, it's more, a bit more, not, um, I guess you say, sharper taste. Sharper later? Yeah, yeah. sharper okay. in the beer. These are really nice. Yeah. yeah. These are really aromatic. So you've got the guys that are down the sea level. Yep. We're 100 meters above them. Okay. So a high altitude. Yep. And uh, Glen will be higher again, and so is our other farm down there. So generally what happens, you get a, a, a higher quality um, hop at a higher altitude, but your risk is a lot greater. Okay. So you, your harvest window shortens up, yep. so you just got to get it in quick. And that's some of the stress from the higher elevation? That's stress, changing. Exactly yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so they call it a winter warmer summer, as we yeah. sort of discussed from right. Yeah. I mean, it's like a winery in a lot of ways. Sometimes the stressed seasons are the best vintages. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You mightn't get the best yield as a grower, but yeah. the quality could be exceptional. Yeah, yeah. that's interesting. No, oh, these are, we've, we've smelled nothing but goodness in these fields. So we had a good time out here in the field. Uh, again, we're getting a off-the-cuff tour. I yeah, we're from Glenn and Andrew. I can't exactly tell you what farm we're on, but we're part of Clayton Farms right now, and we've been treated with the utmost hospitality. Uh, again, we dropped in on these guys sight unseen, and they were very happy to take us under their wing and basically drive us all around the valley. And so, yeah, we're going to head into their kiln now, and we're also going to head into town, whatever that means, to. Uh, to uh, sniff some sniff some dried cones of every variety and maybe even make a selection. All right.
right, so that was cool. That was a quick Clayton tour, or Clayton Farms rundown. Uh, great hospitality from Andrew and Glenn. Well, should we get you to smell it on the floor? So yeah, that would be great. They've given us a pin location to drive to, where allegedly there's some more hop cores of all the uh, seed varieties that we're here for. Apparently it's at a house. And yeah, we're just gonna make our way over there at QV speed, which is like twice as fast as we drive in America. We've been jonesing for some roadside fruit and we finally found some here at uh, Frut for you. Hello. We got a golden queen peach, which to me is a novel variety and our friend Andrew Porter is gonna give you his thoughts in real time. All right, we got the golden queen. It's got a nice like uh, orange color right here. So I think this is a peach. Got a nice crunch to it. Really sweet. Crunch, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Very juicy. It's a nice peach. I like it a lot. Give it a score. I'll give this an eight two. Wow. Talk to me, gang. New Zealand grown strawberries. Straight juice. Time one. Ten Nine. Out of ten. Whoa, we got a 10 out of 10 perfect Best score. Best strawberry I've ever had. Best strawberry. Uh, yeah. That's true. Can't get better than that. Should we go get another one? <laughs> These are so good. <laughs> All right, so we've arrived at the Clayton Hops house where they've prepared some sampling for us. Oh, what are these? This guy. Looks like our friend Amay is here too. It's a party. Roy's over there. The crew's reunited. Look at this. Hey, folks. Welcome, buddy. How are you? Good, man. How are you? Good to see you. Likewise. I think you're on the YouTube. I am? Bye, YouTube. <laughs> okay, second time. Deja vu. Good cool. to see you. to sniff some early late mid Montawaka, early late mid Montawaka, and some Pacifica. And we cert most certainly have some winners here, and we are not going to tell you which ones they are. <laughs> this is the conclusion, I believe, unless anything transpires tomorrow. <laughs> 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 